it's me again with the daisies. Um, I first video. This is the second video. First video to teach you guys how to do this. And now I put this one already in a flip flop. So I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna do a little bit for you guys to see. We need a nylon and we need a needle. So you do a few knots at the end. Burn with your lighter. So it won't be, um, it doesn't hurt your foot. And you come from top to bottom with your plier. And you push down a little. So you always have to make sure that the daisies are flat to the straps. Okay? That's the only um, thing you have to worry about. Actually, I have to take this out. As you're going to learn things, it's also important that you know we make mistakes. So I put my knot in the wrong place and it was showing and you always have to hide your knot. So I'm going to start doing uh, on this side. All right. From top to bottom um, and you make sure the daisy it's flat all right and you go, oh oops you go inside the daisy yep sometimes you get to poke your finger too it's okay just to secure the daisy and know you will figure out the way that you're doing it and the daisy will lay flat so our first daisy is laying flat um, Now we're going to lay flat the second daisy and don't worry about the nylon on top because you can hardly ever see anything. The only part you have to worry about it is the bottom because the stitches, like I said before, um, the stitches in the bottom, they have to be very small and at the edge of the flip-flop not in the middle because if you put any stitches in the middle it will hurt your foot and you don't want that so another daisy is secure see they are secure now we're gonna secure and make sure it's covering the strap as much as you can all right make sure you hold it nice and tight and now we're going to the other side. Another daisy is nice and secure as you girls can see. So I think you got it now. Um, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I want to stress this enough to you guys that here's what I want to show you guys. Uh, one more time, I'm gonna say that uh, the nylon on the top you can make a huge uh, stitch, but it doesn't show. But when it comes to the bottom, you gotta try to be like at the edge but not too close to the edge because the strap rubber is not strong enough but it can also I would be in the middle the bottle bottom is always um, a tiny stitch okay and the only thing you have to worry about it is to make your daisies 
like this stitch. This stitch is not good. So I'm going to take it out. How do you take it out? You just undo the whole thing. Right? Put the needle back on. Um, if you are watching my video, obviously you are. But if I'm talking to you, you're watching my video. Um, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to show you girls some videos. So my mom is at the end and always holding the daisies to make sure that they stay nice and flat. Cause that's the point of it um, yeah what I want to tell you guys is this um, there's a lot of videos uh, from these lovely ladies from Brazil which I'm also from Brazil um, but I live in America and if you girls see any video um, that you like me to translate it for you guys just um, Leave me um, a message and tell me the name of the video so that way I can reproduce the video for you guys in English because I know it's frustrating sometimes. I try to listen to, I try to watch videos from um, Russian ladies. They do beautiful beat works, but I don't understand what they're saying, so it gets me very frustrated. Or maybe you guys don't understand what I'm saying either. But, well, I'm trying. And, uh, yep, just so you know. Because, um, as you know, Brazilian girls um very good on costume make flip-flops. You know, when you are... You have this passion, passion about flip-flop. There's a lot of great videos, but sometimes you just can't understand. I get your frustration. I'm almost done. See, I'm always flipping the... This one's kind of loose. So what we do is we go back. Get the thread. I know I could put in my arm in front of it. Try not to, I'm sorry. Um, and when you do using nylon and stitching, you gotta make sure that it's nice and tight because if it's not nice and tight, it's gonna be rubbing against your skin and you don't want that to happen because it's gonna make you cray cray and it's not going to be good especially if you're selling it to you're gonna make sure that um, you're doing the best that you can one more make sure the daisy is nice and flat. And make sure when you see daisy is nice and flat. Your stitch nice and tight back. Oh, by the way, um, the nylon that I'm using is um, the 700 yards, um, six pounds. I'm almost done, guys. I know it looks hard and everything in the first time it is hard I know that trust me 
I still, every time I see something new that I have to learn, and it, it takes a lot of time to learn, it's time consuming, but once you get the hang of it, you say, ah, oh, it's not that hard. And there we are at the end of our last daisy. I want you guys to pay attention to this. The needle her right here is kind of in the middle, but on the bottom it's close to the edge. And uh, go inside the daisy for our last stitch. Now this part I want you guys to pay attention. So this is our last stitch. So I'm gonna go inside the strap, right, with my needle for as long as I can. And it's gonna come out in here, but as you can see, there's nothing in the bottom. It's just through the strap, literally through it. Um, okay. So that way you don't have to make an, a knot or anything because this will never, so you go backwards the same way, a little bit in and straight. That way the needle comes back on the other side and nothing on this side. Why do I do this so many times? It's because it's secure. Nothing will make this nylon comes up and undo your work. And you all set, you take your lighter and voila. If you put your hands in, it's not gonna hurt you. And here we have, so here I'm gonna finish. Always look, right? If I left any, which I did here too. So I come with my lighter, make nice and neat. And uh, voila, I'm gonna call this flip flop Anna because it's for my client, Anna. Her name's Anna, and Anna, I hope you like it. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make video for you guys. Have a great, great night.